Chris Yates video blog, where I'm going to really share a lot of my day with you as often as I can on a regular basis. I want to bring some interesting facts, some great cases that I've seen. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a chance to answer some of your questions on the uh, video blog. So if you have any good ones, make sure to send them in to us. And uh, I want to start, I had a, a, you know, a very interesting case. I, I often uh, talk about how I'm one of the dinosaurs that still takes its own emergencies. And uh, I rarely get emergencies after midnight, so it's really not a big deal. Well, anyway, I, uh, one night, two nights ago, three nights ago, I got back from a trip. So I was a little exhausted, and I got to bed pretty late. And sure enough, at 2.36 in the morning, a call comes in. And uh, on the message, they said something about a, a dog, a Rottweiler, that had an amputation and was coughing up blood. And um, I, I just didn't ring a bell that this was one of my clients. So I give them a call. First question I asked, I said, are you a client here? Have we seen this dog? And they said, um, uh, no, we had been someplace else. But when we called them, they had a recording on their machine and telling, uh, telling us that the office was closed and with no referral. And that, to me, is, is, a, is a major mistake. Uh, if you're not going to take your own emergency calls, you want to make sure that your hospital offers an emergency clinic. And if they don't, you should know that because that's information you always want to have handy. So anyway, talk a little bit more to this uh, client about her dog. It's a 13-year-old Rottweiler that had bone cancer. And the dog had its leg amputated about three weeks ago. And now it's coughing up blood. So my first question, I was, I was a bit cautious about how to ask it because I feared right there that uh, more work or, or a better workup could have been done before surgery. And I asked, uh, did by any chance your veterinarian take x-rays of the chest or the abdomen before the amputation, knowing, of course, that one of the, the key organs, two of the key organs that bone cancer will spread to in these old dogs, liver and lungs. And you really need to think twice about removing the leg of a dog, a 13-year-old dog, if the tumor had already spread to the lungs. And unfortunately, the answer was, um, no, I don't think you took any x-rays. And I was very concerned about that. And I mentioned that to her. I said, you know, I just don't know in hindsight if uh, it was the right thing to do to take a leg off because now I'm wondering if the tumor had already spread to the lungs at the time of surgery. And sure enough, took a look at this uh, dog and unfortunately the lungs were full of tumor. And uh, really unfortunately for the dog's sake and for the money that the clients had spent, and as I like to just safely call it, elsewhere animal hospital, had this been determined before the dog went under the knife before surgery, most likely, and for probably good reason, surgery should not have been done. The end result would have been the same without having to put, have put the dog through major surgery and unfortunately this client through major expense. Please, there are specialists all over town, specialists in every field, from dermatology to surgery to internal medicine to neurology to oncology. If you are having a problem, a major problem, don't be shy, don't be embarrassed to ask your veterinarian for a referral to a specialist to get a good second opinion. In a case like this, it would have saved this, a lot of stress to the dog and a lot of money for the client. And tune in again soon for more video blog from Dr. Jeff at Pet Care on the Web.